What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and I was not expecting to make another Naughty Dog related video today, but Laura Bailey, the voice actress who plays Abby in The Last of Us Part 2, has come out and shared some of the things that people have said to her, some of the mean things that people have said to her about her portrayal of Abby in this video game. I want to take a look at what they said, take a look at what people are saying now and how this will just go on to further show how much like The Last Jedi this game is going Going to turn out to be let's take a look laura bailey man i try to only post positive stuff on here but sometimes this gets just a little overwhelming i blacked out some of the words because you know spoilers side note thank you to all the people sending me positive messages to balance it out it means more than i can say uh, now we are going to read some of these there is some language and some threats associated with some of these um just like anyone who's been on the internet for any length of time is received by freaking whack jobs who, you know, can't let something go. Because believe it or not, there's some weird people on the internet. Let's take a look at these six examples that she shows. I'm going to kill you because you blank in The Last of Us Part 2. And we're not going to, we are going to talk spoilers. I'm sure they said killed Joel in The Last of Us Part 2. I'm going to find where you live and slaughter you for what you did to Joel. Mark my effing words. I will stab you, someone else says. Just want to say you should die, bitch. F you. You ruined it. I hope your parents die by a hard cancer for killing my uh, favorite character. I assume that's what they're saying. I will find you and I will kill your kid for that. Just wait for that. That messed up. F you, dumb Abby bitch. Go F yourself. Uh, these are what all these people are saying to Laura Bailey. Again, out of the tens of thousands of interactions she has every day on Twitter, uh, there are six examples that she has. Um, now, again, what happens after she shares this? She says she only wants to share positives, but then she shares this uh, because she knows that there will be people rallying to her defense because guess what? Everyone agrees that this is wrong. You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't say these things to someone over their role in a video game. Um, are people allowed to criticize people? Absolutely. I have been criticizing many of the people involved with the making of Naughty Dog or in the making of The Last of Us Part 2 and who work for Naughty Dog. Mostly Neil Druckmann because he is more responsible than anyone else for the story that we ended up getting. But of course, what do we have here? Laura Bailey is an actress. Based on your opinion of a character, a damn good one. But first and foremost, she is a person. A person with real feelings. She does not deserve your abuse for doing her job. You are not entitled to abuse her because you have access to her. Yeah, okay. Uh, everyone agrees with that. Yeah, I support gamers' rights. Gamers' rights to shut the F up and leave Laura Bailey alone. Uh, well, I feel like gamers are free to criticize her uh, for what she did in the game. Uh, again, I haven't heard too much criticism for Laura Bailey about her job as a voice actress, but I do think that people should very much feel free to uh, give their opinions on that. Look at this one. And this is why. This is why I think it brings it back to what happened with The Last Jedi and the narrative that we are going to get going forward. Hey, nerds. Laura Bailey is not Abby. Kelly Marie Tran is not Rose Tico. Justin Prentice is absolutely effing nothing like Bryce Walker. Actors are not their characters. Why didn't you put the hands? I want the hands in between there. Learn how to separate fiction from reality and stop harassing actors, you effing idiots. The number of people that are sending these kind of disgusting things to Laura Bailey are absolutely minuscule they're so microscopic they're not even worthy of acknowledging but that's what everyone is going to do and that's the narrative they are going to set just like kelly marie tran who receives a couple criticisms of her character in the in the last jedi right and then leaves instagram because of harassment it's going to be just like that when the majority of people are either just criticizing her character or are saying nice things to her uh, the vast majority of comments that Laura Bailey has gotten have been positive. And guess what? She even goes on to say that. Look, damn, the amount of encouraging responses to this. I've always believed that good people far outweigh the bad. Thanks for reminding me of that today. Um, you didn't. You did this for attention. You did this so people would come out and say they support you and feel sorry for you. Um, and that's fine if you did that. I think... The, I mean, it's pretty obvious that that's what you were doing. That's why you posted these things. But let's let's see what else. What else? 
I don't give a shit about your last was two opinion. If you're such a trash human being, you threaten Laura Bailey, the sweetest being you need to work in on your life. You are a shame to the human race. Again, everyone agrees that people should not be saying these kind of things to someone over their role in a video game. Uh, you don't have to come out and say that's like coming out, making a stand about the sky being blue. Yeah. 99.9999999% of people feel that way. Uh, it's true. And we've already seen The Last of Us 2 actress reveals death threat she's received. Um, again, this one from Inquisitor, same thing. This one from In iTech Post, same thing. Just wait a couple more hours. I guarantee in the morning we are going to see articles about how the culture, the outrage about this game, the toxic nature of gamers led to this happening. I guarantee it. That is what we are going to see. And that is why every day that goes along, this game is more like The Last Jedi. Um, so I'm not going to make a tweet about how uh, how no one should treat Laura Bailey that way because it's very obvious. Those people are the lowest of the low, but there is going to be an active campaign to lump the, again, microscopic group of people in line with everyone else who hates The Last of Us Part Two because of this story and who has valid criticisms of this game. Just mark my words. Let me know what you think about all this. I wasn't able to wear my F Naughty Dog shirt because it's in the laundry, but if you want an F Naughty Dog shirt, uh, please check out the link in the pinned comment below. Make sure you smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.